My name is Courtney Gilbert and I'm the Curator of Visual Arts at the Sun Valley Center for the Arts. The exhibition that we have up currently is called Happily Ever After. It's a look at, um, at fairy tales and kind of at the dark side of fairy tales and why we told these stories for generations, um, how they serve as both cautionary tales about appropriate behavior, but also about um, our relationship with nature and about the things that might be lurking in the woods. Um, the exhibition features artwork by six contemporary artists. When I put together the exhibition, I thought about, um, I wanted to show artwork by artists who are responding to specific fairy tales, well-known stories. In fairy tales, often what things seem to be on the surface is not what they are underneath. We're really lucky to have in this exhibition three uh, artworks by internationally known artist Kiki Smith. She's probably the best known artist in the exhibition. Smith has been exploring gender roles, gender identity um, in her work for the last few decades. And over the past 12 or so years, she's made a whole body of work about fairy tales. So in this exhibition, we have one large diptych and two other prints that are all address the story of Little Red Riding Hood. And, you know, I think most of us, when we think about Little Red Riding Hood, we think of it as a morality tale about the importance of um, staying on the path, of listening to your mother. Um, and also, it's kind of a story of seduction, of the wolf kind of seducing Little Red Riding Hood. Smith recasts the story and thinks more about the relationship between the wolf and Little Red Riding Hood, and what if, in fact, they're um, complicit with each other. So in one diptych, we have two large prints showing the wolf and Red Riding Hood facing each other. It's called Companions, and they look, um, they look as if they're, uh, they're actually friends coming together in the forest. The other artist who's interested in responding to particular fairy tales is Claire Cowie. Um, Claire is based in Seattle. She's a, a painter, a printmaker, a sculptor, and for this exhibition she made a set of nine works on paper. They combine drawing, um, stitchery, uh, paint, and collage um, on nine separate panels that all hang together and form one unit. And for Cow Cowie's really interested in how fairy tales are, are kind of disorienting stories. Um, they're, they're almost dizzying in, in the way that things shift and move. So all nine pieces work together and they create almost like a labyrinth that your eye moves through. Erin Rachel Hudak is a painter based in Brooklyn, New York, who's made a whole body of work about wolves. And she started making the work after she began collecting children's books and was fascinated by the way that the wolf is often the villain. And there's that you know, proverbial wolf in sheep's clothing that we always talk, talk about, which comes, I think, out of the Three Little Pigs. Um, so she's made collages and um, works on paper about wolves. And she's also done a set of collages of wolves as famous great Americans, where she's taking portraits of people like um, Theodore Roosevelt and Clara Barton and put wolf masks on their faces. Walter Martin and Paloma Munoz are a couple who make artwork together. Um, I think they're best known for, they, for their snow globes, but they have remade the snow globe and create sort of bizarre scenes inside of their snow globes. Um, so you'll have weird encounters between humans and animals, or we have one snow globe where a, a tree trunk transforms into the face of a man, and there's a woman f out with, with a um, with a frying pan feeding this kind of tree man. And we also have um, a set of photos that they've made from sets that they build that are similar in um, theme. Um, so I think you, know, you can look at these and then and kind of come up with your own version of what's going on, your own explanation of the story, but then also your own ending and whether or not that ending is going to be you know, happily ever after or, or maybe an unhappy <laughs> ending for these characters. Henriksen is an artist based in New York who is, um, he's created a big body of work that's kind of grown out of in his interest in um, 
fabrics, traditional fabrics, and how those create, ha, kind of have utopian backgrounds. So he takes these, these fabrics that look sort of like toile um, or Victorian era fabrics, and he's also made wallpaper. And from a distance, these things look really idyllic and pastoral, and then you get up close and there are these strange scenes of um, characters wearing hoods and, and masks and, and these kind of full body cloaks, or we have wallpaper with little tiny ghosts hiding in the grass. The final artist in the exhibition is an artist named Andrea Dezzo, who teaches at Hampshire College in Massachusetts. And Dezzo, she is a painter and also a book artist who for a long time was making handheld tunnel books, these books that are made up of different layers of imagery that you can open up and it's almost like an accordion and sort of read through the scenes. So what we have in art um, project Room is, is also a tunnel, she calls it a tunnel book even though it's a full scale um, experience, immersive experience. So the Project Room has been completely transformed with several layers of imagery and colored lights um, that recede back into the space. There's a video projection in there as well and um, Andrea has filled the, um, the scene with tiny little cut, pa cut paper figures um, and Dezo, she's very interested in the idea that um, characters in fairy tales are often kind of hybrids. You know, you have talking animals and you have uh, trees that come to life. And, um, and she also, there's a parallel for her between fairy tales and the subconscious, you know, these stories that sort of seem to come out of our subconscious in their magical and, and wonderful nature. You're invited to take a journey through it, a visual journey that mirrors your own journey through your mind. The Sun Valley Center for the Arts is located at the corner of 5th and Washington in Ketchum. We're open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and admission is always free. So please come on in and check out Happily Ever After.